I think this is a great idea. I really want to do this. But right now, the code base really doesn't support this kind of additional functionality. So to start down that path, I'm going to create a JavaScript module around all of my existing code. And to do that, what I'm going to do is add some parentheses around this function call or function definition. So at the very top and at the very bottom. So I'm declaring this function in a variable called memento. And then at the very bottom of the immediate function, I'm returning that memento variable. Now this immediate function has something that it can return and something that can be attached to this backbone memento namespace and object right here. And that makes this one the only object that is exposed to the outside world. My memento stack object isn't. I can do whatever I want with it internally inside of my code here, but other developers can't mess with it from the outside. Oh, so the drop ignored, not defined. It's because I moved this drop ignored function out of my memento stack into the serializer. So I need to start moving my deserialize process out as well. Let's start with that or move on to the whole type problem. And what we're going to do is have this type helper object return an object that has a consistent API externally but is able to call the correct API on either the model or the collection. And it's old attributes. Okay, so type helper.restore old attributes. So this is some, some pretty well factored code. 